uh, directional derivative uh, from the definition of the partial derivative uh, is there a surface the partial derivative uh, fx equals partial f partial x uh, and fx e uh, equal fy that is partial f partial y that actually uh, is the ratio change of x uh, direction or and y direction this is partial f partial x partial f partial x and this one ratio change uh, for this uh, direction that is uh, for this direction that is the ratio change partial f uh, that is actually what I write as fy this is fx that that means the partial uh, the, the partial derivative is uh, the partial derivatives are ratio change in terms of x direction or y direction uh, what if the, there is some other the other ratio change seen for some other directions for for instance for these directions what is the ratio change of the, this direction uh, this leads to the definition of directional derivative The def definition is as that if u is a unit vector, then the direction uh, derivative derivative. is defined as uh, if we uh, write the direction derivative of u f that is limit uh, h tends to zero f x plus a h y plus b h minus f x y over h here u is a b is a unit vector or that's for two dimension uh, two dimension uh, function d u f is limit h tends to zero that is f x plus a h y plus b h uh, z plus c h minus f x y z over h here u is a b c is a unit vector <coughs> as for three dimension for three dimension and um, directional derivative is defined as the ledger that's the uh, definition. That's the definition for directional derivative. Uh, and then how to compute this? Computation for the directional derivative. Uh, there is a theorem. Uh, if f is differentiable differentiable uh, in a neighborhood of 
x, y, uh, or x, y, z in three dimension. Then the directional derivative of f, that is f x x y times a plus f y x y times b in three in two d in three d that is d u f that is f x x y Z times A plus F Y X Y Z times B plus F Z X Y Z times C. That's the computation. <coughs> if if F is differentiable, if F is not differentiable, then we have to use the use the definition of directional uh, directional derivative uh, the proof is uh, uh, directive uh, but in intuitive the du we just prove for the two dimensional uh, that as x plus a h y plus b h minus f x y over h that is the limit h tends to zero we can write as f a uh, f x plus a h uh, y plus b h minus f uh, a plus uh, a x x uh, y plus b h then plus f x y plus b h minus f x y this is informal informal proof this is informal proof that is limit h tends to zero that is f a x plus a h y plus b h minus f x y plus b h but this proof this informal proof is uh, maybe easier to, un to under understand h tends to zero that is f x b plus uh, y plus b h minus f x uh, y the first uh, h tends to zero uh, the first the first uh, expression that is y not change the second, the second variable does not change, but, uh, and uh, the later one, the first variable does, does not change. So that's x plus a h y plus b h minus f x y plus b h. But the first one, uh, the x chain, the delta x is a h. So the Denominator should times a h. Then these two parts, this one equals this one, and the later one, uh, then the the, the the denominator times a, so the denominator should times a as well. H tends to zero. That is f x y plus b h minus f x y and uh, here is h so the this one the dot y is b h so the, the denominator should times b and here times b to cancel 
And the first one, if f is differentiable, the first one should be as fx, x, y, the limit, the, the, the fraction, and take the limit for the fraction that is fx times a plus fy x or y times b because x h, h tends to zero. Uh, but this uh, this proof is informal because uh, here h tends to zero, uh, b h and a h tends to zero, uh, both tends to zero. Uh, but the first expression is look it it looks like uh, the um, derivative in terms of x, and the second is um, the the derivative for the uh, for the y. The partial derivative for y, and then uh, we take the h tends to zero. That we have these, these two terms. The formal formal proof is by the definition of uh, differentiable. Definition. Or definition uh, for x for f that, that by that oh, it's differentiable that means f for x plus delta x y plus delta y, that is fx, fy times delta x plus fy, xy plus times delta y plus epsilon 1 delta x plus epsilon 2 delta y. So <coughs> the derivative is limited h tends to 0 f a uh, x x plus a h y plus b h minus f x y or oh, here you should uh, add f x y over h that is limit uh, h tends to 0. That is f x x y times a h plus f y x y times uh, b h plus epsilon 1 uh, times a h plus epsilon 2 times b h because epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 uh, tends to 0 as h tends to 0. So that is fx x y delta uh, uh, times a plus f y x y times b. That's the directional derivative. And we use this formula to compute the directional derivative. Uh, we should notice that the i, the, 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 the u should be unit vector. u is a unit vector. If u is not unit vector, we have to un, uh, unitize to uh, uh, change uh, the vector to be a unit vector. Now let's uh, see some examples. The first example uh, f x y equals x square plus x y find d u f where 
u equals uh, 1 over square root 2i plus 1 over square root 2j. The solution is used because this function uh, is a polynomial, so we can uh, so the function is differentiable everywhere. So we can use the theorem. So fx uh, at at uh, the point one two fx that is two x plus y and fy that is x. So f x one two that is two plus two that is four f y one two that is one so d u f here u is a unit vector that is f x one two times 1 over square root 2 plus f y 1 2 times 1, o 1 over square root 2 that is 4 times 1 over square root 2 plus 1 times 1 over square root 2 that is 5 over square root 2 that's the first one the vector is the unit vector. The second one, uh, f x y f x y is y of four plus two x y over q plus x square y square um, find the derivative di directional derivative uh, in the direction The direction u equals i plus 2j the solution is now u the u the length of u is 1 plus 4 the square root of 1 plus 4 that is square root 5 is not unit vector so we take the uh, unit vector. The unit vector is square root 5, 1 over square root 5, 1, 2. So the uh, first we uh, first we uh, find the partial derivative that is 2y cube plus 2xy square fy that is 4y cube plus 6xy square plus 2x square y and fx uh, at this point, uh, uh, we need, uh, at zero one, we have to uh, point out which point. F x zero one. F x zero one. That is uh, y equals one x equals zero. That is two. And f y zero one. That is uh, four. That is four. 
For the u is not unit vector, we still use the uh, still use the unit vector. That is f x uh, zero one times one over square root of five plus f y zero one times uh, two over square root of five. That is 2 over square root 5 plus 4 over square root 5. That is 6 over square root 5. If the if the vector is not unit vector, we change uh, we change it to the unit vector. That's the directional derivative, the computation for directional derivative if the function is differentiable. Now, let's see the fx y is defined as 0 x y as the origin is 0 and as x 4 minus 3 y cube over uh, 3x4 plus 2y square if x or y is non-zero then find the di find the directional derivative at 0 0 u equals uh, 1 over square root 2 1 over square root 2 uh, now this function is not this function is not differentiable near x equals 0 even not continuous so find the the the, the, the directional derivative we, we, we only have the definition for the directional di directional derivative so we use the definition the directional derivative of f at x uh, 0 0 that is limit h tends to 0 f 0 plus 1 over square root 2 h 0 plus 1 over square root 2 h minus f 0 0 and here over the h h tends to 0 now uh, that is f 1 over square root 2 h 1 over square root 2 h uh, minus f 0 0 is over h uh, use the uh, use the uh, use the expression for f that is 1 over square root 2 h of 4 uh, minus 3 1 over square root 2 h that's q and then divided by 3 1 over square root 2 h 4 uh, plus 2 1 over square root 2 h that's square then times h h tends to 0 uh, we divide both denominator and denominator by h4 so that here uh, the denominator is uh, 1 over 4 h minus uh, 2 square root 2 3 uh, divided by h cube that is here is one uh, three of four 
h uh, plus uh, square root 2 that's 2 uh, that's, that's uh, 4 that's 2 uh, because this uh, the h should times uh, times h uh, here uh, that is 2 over 4, so that is 1 over 2. Not less h tends to 0. That is uh, uh, negative square root 2, that's 3 over square root 2. So if the function is not differentiable near a, b, uh, a, x, or y, then we have to use the definition of the directional derivative. That's the computation for directional derivative. Okay. 